So Ableton just updated live to 9.1, which is free for all Live 9 owners. Just to let you know, this is a manual download. There's no automatic updates. You will not get this unless you go to their website and download it. I'll have a link in the description of this video. Some of the key features that they boast are two monitor support. So now you can have both session view and arrangement view open at the same time, which I'm really excited for. I might buy another monitor soon. Um, another thing is faster rendering when you export your sessions. So apparently it's supposed to be better quality and faster rendering due to the use of multiple cores. I tried this out and exported some files and didn't notice that big of a difference. It might be because I have a higher sample rate and word length, but who knows? Try this out for yourself and let me know if you see a difference. A few other things I noticed when I was checking out 9.1 are, let's see, uh, in preferences. Buffer size now has options that you can choose from. Another thing is when exporting, uh, the window looks different. It's slightly narrower and has some slightly different options, but for the most part, it's the same. Now, when you export, it'll show you the source sample rate and the target sample rate. So if you're recording in 48K and you mix down to 44.1, then it'll show that. Another cool feature is if you go to File, Open, Recent, Set, you now have the option to clear unavailable sets and to clear the entire list. Ableton has also changed their default presets for Auto Filter, EQ8, Saturator, Tension, Simpler, Sampler, Analog, Operator, and Electric. For a full description of all improvements and updates, I'll put a link in the description called 9.1 Release Notes. Okay, one last thing. Ableton's push controller has also been updated. They're introducing a brand new melodic step sequencer. For more information on that, see the two videos I'll put in the description, which will be able to explain it much better than I can. Thanks for watching this Ableton 9.1 update video. If you hear or see any important updates that I missed, then leave a comment below because I'd love to know about it.